On Monday, pick dicks a week. On Tuesday, pick dicks and dicks. On Wednesday, pick dicks and kicks. On Thursday, pick taps and taps. On Friday, pick bats and bats. On Saturday, pick the slap. What does pick do on Sunday? Does pick pick a week? Does pick dig and kick? Does pick tap and bat? Look at over there. On Sunday, pick naps. Hello everyone, my name is Catherine. I live in Lincoln. My birthday is in October 10. I like to eat apples. I like Chinese movies. I like dog and cats. My name is Xander. I have a brother. His name is Max. I live in Lincoln. My favorite animal is a zebra. My name is Abby. I'm 11 years old. I live in Taiwan. I want to be a nurse. I love my family. Today will be the most special day ever because there is a guest coming to my new house. The guest is a surprise for my kids. They say they will never say who the guest is. I wanted to have a big surprise, so I never asked my kids. But today is different because the guest is almost here. I beg my kids to tell me first, but when my kids almost say who the guest is, the bell rings. I open the door and say, Welcome back, wife. Why do I knew the guest is my wife? Actually, I knew this 10 minutes ago. How did you know? asked my wife. I knew a long time ago, but I wanted to have a surprise, so I didn't say it to my kids. The author's grandfather was born in Japan, but when he was a young man, he left home to see the world. He explored North America by train and river boat. He loved the desert, the endless farm fields, the huge city of factories, and the touring mountains. He finally made his home in San Francisco. He returned to his little village in Japan to marry his childhood sweetheart. Then he brought his bride to the new country. They had a baby girl. When she was a nearly grown, then he went back to their home in village in Japan. Soon their daughter fell in love, married, and had a son. The son's favorite weekend was visit to his grandfather's house. He, his grandfather told him many stories about California. He went to see California one more time and plan a trip. But the war began. The author's grandfather never saw California again. But when his grandson was nearly grown, he wanted to explore the new world for himself. He made his home in San Francisco, married and had a baby girl. And just like his grandfather before him, he divides his time between California and Japan. Do you know who Benjamin Franklin is? If not, I will tell you. Benjamin was born in 1706 in Boston. He taught himself how to read, and his first job was in a printing house. He contributed some of the best articles that the printing house published. Later, he left this job and moved to Philadelphia. After this, he bought his own printing press and continued to print books. He married Deborah Red and they had three kids. In Philadelphia, he founded the first 
Free Lending Library, a police department, a fire department, and a hospital. He also did famous scientific experiments on electricity and invented the lightning rod. He was edited the Declaration of Independence and convinced friends to help America during the War of Independence. He lived many lives and helped Americans become free. The Story City Green There used to be an old building on Marcy Street. One day, two men from the city showed up and said it was unsafe. Then, in the winter, a huge train with a wrecking ball knocks the building down. The only thing left was the empty lot. It was full of drunk and it looked ugly and depressing. One day, Marcy and Miss Rosa decided to plant some flowers there. But all men Hammer said it was city property and they had to ask the city. They rented the lot from the city for one dollar. They put all the drunk in trash bags and carry it to the curb. The whole neighborhood planted flowers and vegetables in the lot. A few weeks later, their seeds began to sprout. By summer, their lot turned into a garden. And in the back, taller than anything else, was a beautiful patch of yellow sunflowers. Nobody knew how the sunflowers came. Nobody but Omen, Hammer, and Marcy. The Frog Prince is a very old fairy tale. It was written down around 1812 by the Green Brothers. It is about a princess whose golden bowl fell into a deep well. She asked a frog to bring the bowl back. The frog made her promise him to be his friend and let him hang out with her. However, after getting her bowl, she ran back to the castle, hoping to never see him again. The next morning, however, just as she was having breakfast, the frog knocked at the door. She did not want to let him in, but the king told her she must not break her promise. So, she opened the door and the frog became her good friend. That night, the princess took the frog to her bedroom and as she touched him, he turned into a handsome prince. The next morning, the prince took the princess on a trip to visit his kingdom.